Hey guys, what's going on? Megan here. Haven't made a workout video in a long time. This was actually shot a few weeks back. I forgot to upload it. But anyway, just doing my front squats at the end of my full body workout. For those of you who don't know, I uh, do four squats. Uh, I call them four squats because uh, I do them after I'm done training. When I'm, like, when I'm very tired and the last thing I want to do is, hey baby, the last thing I want to do is squat. You know, it's the exercise that I hate the most. My philosophy is if you hate something, do it until you love it. Simple, right? If you hate something but you know it's good for you, do it until you love it. So I do squats before I leave the gym because that's the last time I want to do them. You know, that's when I hate them the most. I'm tired. Baby, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Careful. You're going to damage daddies. There you go. Bravo. Okay. So um, anyway. Uh, try it out guys and I'm slowly falling in love with squats because like I said if you do something over and over again eventually you love it right so here I am doing my four squats and like I said I'm extremely tired as I'm doing this so just going at parallel kills me I don't like doing deep squats you guys already know that they're, they're horrible for my knees my knees hurt like crazy and it hurts my back it's just not necessary you know I don't I don't think it's uh, I do I do functional things I do things that uh, humans will do in uh, in real life right as we're evolving or whatever and i don't think there's anything there's any situation when you really have to go that low it's not necessary especially when i'm that tired if you want to do deep squats for strength go go right ahead for hypertrophy that's just my view i don't think it's necessary but anyway um and it, besides i do i do lunges barbell and dumbbell lunges and um I go really low on those, so that's gonna hit whatever muscle I'm not, whatever part of my quads or hams that I'm not hitting doing deep squats. But anyway, this video is not about uh, squat death. Um, there goes the last one. I decided to do them front squats, and I'm doing my little ritual here, as you could tell. I like doing this before when I'm to psych myself up. I pick up the weight first, just to just to let my brain know, look, man, you got this, you could do it. Because it doesn't look like a lot of weight, guys, but when, at, the, at the end of a full body workout, it, it feels like 500 pounds. You know, you're extremely tired. And here you go. Um, I go down and up. My ass is still eating them shorts. Thank you, baby mama. But uh, three reps. This normally I do just two to three reps, right, of or, or four squats. But this day I just decided to keep going. And I was like, hey, let me just see how many I could do. I don't recommend that when you're doing four squats. Don't do more than three or four reps, guys, because you don't want to, you don't want to fuck up your recovery. Because you, remember, I already did legs. This is just to uh, pump myself up, right, to fall in love with the exercise. And the love is slowly coming in. As you can tell, I'm doing more reps than I used to. You know, usually because I'm like, I just want to get it out the way. I'll do like two or three reps. And be like, I said, I did my first class. I'm done. I paid my ticket out. But this time I was like, hey, let me do a few more reps. So that's the sign that I'm starting to like squats, you know. And you must, you must, you might ask, why do you want to, Jonathan, why do you want to love squats so much? Because squats are the kings. It's the, the king of bodybuilding exercises. Anything that builds muscle. I mean, deadlifts and squats, you just can't beat those guys, guys. They're better than benching, better than uh, bent over rows. Squats is just, your whole body is under so much pressure. And it has to, uh, you know, it has to adapt to that. So you grow. Who do you know who's a big squatter and is small or tiny or whatever? It's almost impossible, right? Everyone I know who has big legs has a big upper body. But it's possible to see somebody who has a big upper body and tiny legs. That's very possible. But anyways, guys, uh, try it out. Four squats. Don't do too many reps unless you're feeling, you know. Look at this hippie motherfucker here. Nah, he's actually a cool guy. I see him at the weight club a lot. But anyway, guys, try it out. Yeah. Hey, guys. Right. Look at my shit. Lord Riggy coming with his. You know. You already know. Yep. What you got there, What's man? Going on, guys? We got the same thing, man. We both got two Whoppers and French fries. But check it out, YouTube. There's two French fries at Burger King. Now, there's these fries. And there's these. There's like two kinds. These are supposed to be a little bit.